Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're indoors, and I promised the wife that I was going to cook her a seafood stew, okay? I found the recipe for a seafood stew online somewhere, and I'll put the link to the original recipe down in the description block. But hey, you know how we do it here at Bad Beast. We bad beast up every recipe that we uh, find online to kind of try to make it our own. So... We changed it up, and I'll put the, my ingredients up here on the screen. Like I said, you can go to the original website and check out their ingredients, okay? So we're going to be cooking this in a crock pot, okay? So we're going to be doing this indoors, and it uh, shouldn't take no more than about three hours, all right? So, all right, so I'll put the ingredient list uh, up here on the screen, and we'll go ahead and start putting our ingredients in the crock pot, all right? So the first thing we have is uh, 28 ounces of fire-roasted diced tomatoes. Now, the original recipe called for crushed canned tomatoes, but I like to fire dice the tomatoes. So we're going to put that in our crock pot, okay? Next thing we have is uh, one pound of yellow tomatoes that's uh, diced in bite-sized pieces. These are Yukon potatoes that we're using. The, rest, the original recipe called for yellow potatoes. So we'll put those in there. And then we have uh, one small uh, onion. All right, we have the recipe, the original recipe didn't call for this, but this is one uh, jalapeno pepper that's uh, diced up. We can put that in there for a little added oomph. All right, we got three cloves of minced garlic. Get that in there. All right, we got one tablespoon of tomato paste. Like so. And we have a concoction of different seasonings, uh, basil, thyme, oregano, um, crushed um, red pepper. Uh, it also called for Kanye pepper, but we didn't put any Kanye pepper since we put the uh, jalapeno pepper in there. But we added some Creole seasoning in here. And like I said, my recipe will be in the description block and up here on the screen. At least the list of ingredients, okay? And last, but certainly not least, our liquid. Now, the original recipe called for four cups of uh, vegetable stock, but uh, we're lucky here we can get some seafood stock. So I got four cups of seafood stock that we're going to put in here, okay? All right. So let's mix that up well. Try to break up that tomato paste. We don't want to leave it in one big clump. All right, so we got everything mixed well together. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this on high two to three hours until our potatoes are tender. And then at the very end, we're gonna throw in our seafood. Now, um, the original uh, recipe only called for scallops and shrimp, but you know, we're from Louisiana, so I got my hands on some, uh, some crawfish tails. So we're gonna be putting scallops, shrimp, and crawfish tails in this at the end. Seafood doesn't take that long to cook, so it goes in at the very end, okay? So we're gonna put this on high, like I said, for two to three hours or until your potatoes get nice and tender, and then we'll toss in our seafood. So, hey, hang around and we will see how this meal turns out. Don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been about two and a half hours now, so we're gonna go ahead and, and add our seafood. We'll go ahead and give this a stir before we do that, though. Smells really good. It's still a little watery for my taste, so if it doesn't thicken up, we may have to wind up putting some uh, some a cornstarch slurry in here to kind of thicken it up. But uh, let's go ahead and add our add our seafood. Okay, so we season the seafood also before we tossing it in. So you know layers of flavor. That's how you're supposed to do that. So. Uh, in this container, we have uh, 
crawfish tails, we have scallops, and we have shrimp. We got one pound of each of these, okay? And then we're just gonna toss those in, mix them up, and we're gonna let them cook, let this cook for an additional 30 to 60 minutes, okay, until the seafood is cooked all the way through. And like I said, if it's still kind of uh, liquidy, then we'll put some uh, a cornstarch slurry in there to kind of thicken it up. So we're gonna put our crawfish in here. Get all that crawfish meat. All right, so the scallops. You know, it's been a while since I bought fresh scallops, so I was uh, amazed at how high they were. Uh, fresh scallops, we bought a pound of fresh scallops and it probably ran us up, uh, ran me like $27 for a pound. So if you uh, if you wanna use uh, frozen scallops, I mean, and it's a little bit cheaper than be my guest, you just have to thaw them out um, before you use them. And then last but not least, we're gonna put our shrimp in. All right, so we got a pound of shrimp, a pound of scallops, and a pound of crawfish, okay? So we're going to mix this up real well, and we're going to let this cook for another 30 to 60 minutes on high until uh, the shrimp and all the seafood are cooked, and then we'll come back and we'll get a final taste test. Get in there. I don't lose no shrimp. You're trying to escape. <laughs> all right, guys, so don't go nowhere. Uh, come back. Like I said, about 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes, we'll have a taste test and we'll see how it played out. So hang around. All right, guys. So uh, it's been 45 minutes now and we're going to go ahead and open this up. I did put in uh, about three tablespoons of cornstarch slurry during the cook. Hopefully it would um, thicken up a little bit. It's still a little watery for my taste. So hopefully we'll let it simmer uh, and continue to thicken up as it gets, continues to simmer. But as you can see, it's got all the crawfish, potatoes, shrimp, scallops. Smells fantastic. I just hope it tastes as, tastes as good as it, it smells. And then we can always add more seasoning after the fact. So let's go ahead and dish this up a taste. Of course, being from Louisiana, Anything stew like I always got to have a little rice with it. So I got a little rice in the bottom of my bowl here. So let's go ahead and taste this. Mm. Tastes really good. Kind of um, reminds me of a uh, of a gumbo without the roux. Uh, but like I said, um, it has some good flavor to it. It still needs some more Cajun seasoning, so I'll probably add some more Cajun seasoning and pepper to the mix. But all in all, it tastes really good. Crawfish and potatoes. Tastes really good. The potatoes still have a little body to them. They're not as uh, soft as I would have liked. So... I'm probably going to let this simmer for another uh, 45 minutes or so, but it tastes really good. It's a fantastic seafood stew. Uh, definitely can't go wrong with making this one. Got to have another uh, another bite and taste of scallop. So. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good dish. Like I said, the only thing I would do now is add a little, some salt and pepper, um, some, some pepper, some Creole seasoning, and um, let it simmer a little bit, little bit more so that the cornstarch slurry can thicken it up. But this is really good. We'll be able to eat off of this for the next few days, okay? Well, that's all we have time for. I want to thank you guys for joining us out here tonight. As it starts getting cold, we'll be doing more and more crock pot videos uh, because that's the way to go uh, during the winter time. You throw your ingredients in there and you let them simmer for a few hours and you have a fantastic meal at the end. So, well... Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a bowl of seafood stew waiting on you. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Potatoes still a little crunchy, but all in all, it's really good. See you guys in the next video.